away. So Billie Eilish saw that and then put that beginning part where he talks about it and then spliced in clips of her bedroom with the Justin Bieber posters mm-hmm. and her wearing a Justin Bieber shirt, just fresh-faced as she looked about 12 or 13 mm-hmm. in the picture. So it's it's such an interesting dynamic that they have now because she, I think the first time she ever said that she loved Justin Bieber was on our show when yeah. you guys interviewed her. Yeah. And then it just kind of took off. People were like, what? You love Justin Bieber? She's like, "Uh uh-huh, sure do. And then they met at Coachella, and it Mm -hmm. was just, it was kind of a moment, you guys. Mm -hmm. Kind of a moment. Uh, The rest of that interview is intense at times, Mm -hmm. talking about how much drugs he did, and that security guards used to come in to check his pulse. Wow. Really dark stuff. Uh, Good. And then a lot of God talk. Good interview? Yeah. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. It's long. But, I mean, there are you just find the highlights. They're all pretty intense. Yeah. You guys, uh ever think maybe if I smelled my lava shirt, I'd sleep better? First of all, I don't use the word lava. No, you have to say lava <laughs> like that. Researchers say having a loved one's natural scent nearby could be as effective a sleep aid as melatonin. It smells like smelling. donkey ass. I mean, a lot, of smelling. a lot of smelling happening. For the study, people were given two shirts to use as pillowcases. One had to be worn by their lover. The no, other one the way you was say that. Clean, that. clean or had been worn by a stranger. Participants spent two nights in a row sleeping with each shirt. They weren't told which shirt was which, but they reported feeling more well-rested after using the T-shirt with their lover's scent. Mm. Ah, they said it's an effect similar into what is reported from taking oral melatonin supplements often used as a sleep aid. I mean, that's fascinating. I smell like beef, of course. I wouldn't sleep well <laughs> if I was just smelling beef all night. Because I'd want, I'd want steak. It's true. I do, I, for the record, I do think I still smell like beef from Korean barbecue I had like weeks ago. I still smell it. Well, meat sweats are real, but I yeah. don't think weeks later. I don't know. What the hell is that smell? Well, it's my lava. Mm, and he smells like beef. <laughs> uh, research will next examine if parent shirts can also help babies sleep better. Hmm. So I feel like it's just maybe a pillowcase or a blanket that smells differently than Tide or whatever you're using. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. yeah. Good times with your lava. Ugh. Some birthdays for you. Molly Ringwald, John Travolta. Adele does he. Ike Barinholtz, Dr. Dre, and Yoko Ono. Ah! That is it's a real performance by her. It's my favorite part. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, by performance, that's her singing, right? I mean, yeah, if you okay. use the word loosely. <laughs> Extremely loose. <laughs> All right. And that's what's happening. Kevin in the Morning with Allie and Jensen. Carol QFM. K-Rock. Is it possible that Shakira mm-hmm. and J-Lo at halftime of the Super Bowl uh, opened up a portal mm-hmm. allowing demons to possess your soul? If, uh, if by portal you mean uh, in your pants, nope. Something possess your pants area. It's early for me to say yes or no. Okay, uh, I'd like to hear more. Okay, <laughs> this is a preacher named Dave DeBenmar, mm-hmm. and he's uh, in Ohio. And this is what he has to say: What if there's a spirit that accompanies the visual of a pornography? What if the what if that opens us up? Uh, dare I say it? What do they call it, a portal? Mm. What if just sitting. In the spiritual realm I'm talking about now, mm-hmm. folks, listen, the natural world, they're not going to understand this. Mm, right. They're not, not going to get it. Okay. Okay? All right. Okay. Those of us who have eyes to see, let us see. Let us see and understand. Okay. So, so far, he's just asking a question. Right. Right. He's what not if, what really... if pornography... Right. Mm-hmm. Opened a portal. Opened a portal. To evil. Right. What if just... What if sitting in there watching that soft pornography dance across our TVs? Mm-hmm. What if there's a spiritual component to that? What if there's what if there's something that comes through out of my screen? What if there's some waves? And there comes JLo's crotch. What if there's something waves or, or how is JLo putting waves out of her vagina? Oh, t- also, you have to ask. Then. <laughs> Can you, you say it correctly, it. please? Waves, waves, waves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, something, some force that comes off of that. What if it's like really and truly infecting me with a virus? How does that work? 
Is it infecting him with a virus? Well, yes. Now, is he speaking spiritually? Well, portal. Or physically? He's saying the portal opens, evil comes out, there's diseases, there's uh-huh. sickness coming out of this portal, and he could be taking it in. I see. What if it is really like that, see? I think we ought to sue. I'm sorry, what? He thinks we should sue based on the opening of the portal, I'm assuming? I think we ought to sue. Mm-hmm. Who do we sue? sue? I think we ought to sue. Right, we That's got that point. Got that point. Okay. Were there any warnings before that sh- Super Bowl? Halftime show. Oh, so he wants to sue the NFL. Well, for the halftime sure. show. Would the warning would say something along the lines of portal about to portal be open. about to be open. Please hide or whatever. Uh, right, right. Or don't watch this if you're susceptible to the devil. To the portal, for example. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I didn't see any warnings. He's right about that. He, he is, is right. There yeah. are no warnings. Were there any warnings? No, no, but still no. Twelve-year-old young son whose hormones are just getting ready, just starting to operate. Is there any warning that he, what he's going to see might cause him to get sexually excited? What about you, sir? (laughs) Stop making my sons horny. Right? Right? I mean, imagine how many warnings there would have to be on TV in general at that point. Oh, commercials. Yeah. Everything. Doesn't matter. It's 2020. (laughs) Well, I think we ought to go sit down in the courtroom and present this as evidence. I would like you to do that because... And how the, the whoever... Okay, but why? Hello. This is the he's least gotta, focused. He's got to work on his case. This is the least focused yeah. case ever. I hope he doesn't represent himself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even understand. He started with what if, mm-hmm. meaning he doesn't know. It's possible. He, it's also possible that it's not. He, correct. That's not an argument for court, though. That's just playing both sides. Right. Mm-hmm. Keeping me from getting into the kingdom of heaven. Is it possible that the oh. Super Bowl half so, mm-hmm. right. yes, keeps him from getting into heaven? Because I mean, he's been exposed. Right. To judge. Right? Maybe. Mm-hmm. Could I go into a courtroom and say, viewing what you put on that screen put me in danger of hellfire? <laughs> I mean, I hope so. I wish he would. I hope so. I wish he would. <laughs> put me in danger of hellfire. I, I would start watching Your court Honor. TV. It would be so good. It Your would be, Honor, it would put be me, the OJ case. It put me in, in danger of hellfire. Mm-hmm. Could the court say... <laughs> Could the court say that's that doesn't apply here? That, yeah, the court could say could that. definitely say that. Sure, it doesn't apply here because pornography, the right to porn, overrides your right to watch it. Yeah, but you didn't tell me I was going to watch it. You just brought it into my living room. You didn't tell me. You didn't tell me there were going to be crop shots. <laughs> I would have prepared more too. I got to be honest. I felt <laughs> let down by the. By the promotion. And now I'm starting to think it's the guy from Kimmel that just yells behind press it conferences. It does sound like it. It uh, does sound like it, but th- it's not. Have you ever even seen a warning like that? I've never even seen a warning that he's talking about. I can't imagine a show that's like, hey, there's going to be sexual dancing in this show. Sometimes they tell you if there's going to be a strobe light. <laughs> yes. In case you have epilepsy. In case you have epilepsy, yeah. right. That's very different. That you could okay. maybe sue for. Okay, sure. Yeah, he's right. So well, you should know better. You should know better because it's J Lo and whoever that was. You should know she's an expert in crotch shots. Is she? And how dare he forget right. Shakira? Speak right? Her name. I mean, sir. Say, put some respect on her name. <laughs> oh. She was you the standout. You know that? No, I I protect my eyes. I didn't know that about her. And I'm sitting there and I'm watching it. This is a crazy old man. Mm-hmm. You know what this guy needs? Some porn. Needs to get laid. Yes. <laughs> yes. I love watching the NFL. I want to watch the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. But I don't want to watch that. Mm-hmm. Why can't I stop yelling? He's like Destiny. He was just watching it because it was on. Mm-hmm. He like couldn't even change it. Nothing you can do. Nothing mm-hmm. he can There's do. There's nothing Lock you can the do. Remote. That's right. Mm-hmm. If they bring that into my house, is that not discriminatory? That's discriminatory. It's, it's not. I don't against think the values I have in my house. I don't yeah, think it definition. is. You can't just do that. I mean, you can. Yeah. I want to sue him. Okay. Please. For how much? Uh, you're asking us. Yeah. I mean, how, how do you put a price on your soul going to hell? It's, I mean, it's going to be pricey. Yeah. If, if you are, if you've got hellfire raining down on you. Right. Uh, it's a hundred million. hundred million? Yeah, I was living a normal life. Uh-huh. Then yeah. I saw Shakira and J-Lo and now I'm going to hell. Right. right. 250 million. Okay. I want to sue him for about $867 trillion. Oh. Very exciting. <laughs> $867 trillion. <laughs> I mean, you just can't round that uh, up or down I'd a like little to bit. see the calculations as to how we got to that. <laughs> oh, please take that to court. Wouldn't oh, that be the best thing ever? So many good interviews. So many, so much good depositions. Best thing ever. I'd be in. I would be in too. Kevin in the morning. Kevin in the morning. Kevin in the morning. 
with Ali and Jensen. Jensen, you saw the uh, Shaka Khan national anthem. I did, yeah. I was watching live during the NBA All-Star game. Thoughts? Uh, well, you know. Has she ever heard it? It's Shaka Khan, man. She's a, a, an absolute icon. She's a legend. Mm-hmm. And then it, during it, I went, is this terrible? And then I... Uh, this is terrible. And then I saw the reaction. They did the camera panning through players, and they were laughing, and a couple of them were like, oh, what's this note? And I went, oh, it is terrible, and everyone knows it. Mm-hmm. It's bonkers. It's not great. No. Mm-hmm. I had to edit it because it's not possible to listen to it in its entirety. No, we wouldn't allow that. It would kill you. But mm-hmm. this is part of Shaka Khan's national anthem. Here to perform the Star Spangled Banner is acclaimed singer, songwriter, and 10-time Grammy winner from Chicago, Shaka Khan. All right. Warm reception. Mm-hmm. Ten Grammys, man. Sure. Chicago and the Rockets ran All right. So there you're like, I don't know. Is this great? That's what I was thinking. I was like, is that is that good or bad? And I said, it feels bad, but it's Shaka Khan, so it's got to be good. The bombs bursting in oh. Oh. oh, no. Yeah. Tonight. I mean, come on now. Yeah. Uh, don't. Uh, don't. Come on now. Uh, give me a little more. Okay. Yeah. Give me a little more. That our flag was still there. Whoa, say does that. <laughs> Weird places. So spangled. There's some semblance to the song in there. And right when you think, okay, now we're getting back on yes, track. Yes. She's hitting the right no uh, no. This is gonna she's gonna she, redeem herself she now. She just derails it within the next couple notes. And that one yeah. was it. That's the cat noise there. That's like ah it's a screech. <laughs> this oh. still I sort of feel what Jensen is saying, which is is this great? It's not great. Or is it terrible? It's terrible. And if the players' reactions as they're passing them, it's like they would show Kawhi. Even Kawhi, who's cool as a cucumber, right. every, is still like, Ooh. Like, you can see everybody's <laughs> shoulders just going low. Yeah. Bring it home. One more round of applause. No. No, No, sir. She possibly still be singing. Like, if we checked in, is she still singing? That's possible, yeah. Possible. That is possible. I mean, she's up there with some of the worst. Yeah. She's not as bad as Roseanne. Right. Oh, that can't be Roseanne. This is perfect. I hope that's Roseanne. And this had a similar reaction from players. Yes, but at least she's singing the notes. Mm. Yeah. She's trying yeah. to make them sexy, which I don't think is the mm-hmm. move. Nope. Oh, no. <laughs> and she took long breaks, too, like here. And that's when they would, you know, show people in the crowd trying not to laugh. Yeah. For the Well, no, those aren't hitting notes at all. I mean, it's, you can see what she's going trying, for. Trying. You, you can tell what she's going for. It's a little for. pitchy dog. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not as bad as Roseanne. I'll say, can you see by the time you're leaving? What's up? I can't believe this happened. I yeah. can't either. And then didn't she spit? Yeah, she grabbed her crotch. This oh. is literally a sprint. Yeah. Laughing. And she's laughing. Because <laughs> people start booing. Yeah. yeah. At that point, people start booing, and it's like, oh my God, they're actually booing me during the anthem. I mean, only thing I'll say is she was trying to get it over with quick. Right. I respect that. Or Carl Lewis. You remember Carl oh, Lewis? Oh, yeah. Oh, say, can you see? And the rockets. Red, red. Oh. <laughs> 
No! Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. He says, uh oh. Uh oh. Now he's going to make the people a promise. I'll make up for it now. There you go.